of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum, may peace be upon you. This is Saad Farooq Khan and we welcome you to the seventh episode of The Book of Light. Today we are going to proceed with the verse 151 from the second chapter of the Holy Quran which is Surah Baqarah. God has sent among you a messenger from among you who recites before you God's verses, purifies you and instructs you in the book and wisdom. He teaches you what you did not know. So remember me and I will remember you. Think me and do not reject faith. O believers, seek help with patience and prayer. God is with those who are patient. Do not call them as dead who are killed in the way of God. They are alive, though you do not have any knowledge of their life. God will test you with fear, hunger and loss of wealth, lives or fruits. Give good news to those who remain patient. When a calamity strikes them, they say, we belong to God and to Him is our return. Upon them will be blessings and mercy from their Lord. They follow guidance. Surely, Al-Safa and Al-Marwa are the symbols of God. One intending to perform Hajj or Umrah may walk between the two. There is no sin in it. One who does good voluntarily should know that God is most appreciative, all-knowing. Some hide the clear signs and guidance which God has sent them. He has made this clear in the book for people. God's curse is on them and of those who curse is on them because they hide clear signs and guidance. However, those who repent, reform and openly declare the truth which they used to hide, God will forgive them. He is most forgiving, most merciful. However, those who disbelieve and die in the same state, God's curse is on them and also of the angels and of all mankind. They will live in it under the curse in the hell. Their punishment will not be reduced nor will they be given any respite. Your God is the one true God. There is no God besides Him. He is most compassionate, most merciful. For those who use reason, there are signs in the creations of the heaven and the earth, the alternation of day and night, the sailing of ships through the sea, carrying goods which are of benefit to mankind, the rain which God sends down from the sky with which He gives life to the dead land, all kinds of animals which He has scattered all over the earth the changing courses of winds and the clouds which run their course between the heavens and earth. Yet, there are some people who take others as equal with God. They love them as only God should be loved. The believers, however, love God more than anyone else. If the wrongdoers could understand, as they will on facing the punishment, that all power belongs to God, God is severe in punishment. Think of the time when those followed will disown their followers. They will see the punishment and all relations among them will be cut off. The followers will wish. If we had one more chance, we will disown them as they have disowned us. Thus God will show them their actions in a way which will fill them with regret. They will never come out of the hellfire. O oh people, Eat of lawful, pure things in the earth. Do not follow in the footsteps of Satan. He is your open enemy. He asks you to do evil and shameful acts. He asks you to say such things about God of which you have no knowledge. When they are asked to follow what God has sent down, they reply, No, we will follow only the ways of our forefathers. Even though their forefathers had no understanding, nor did they follow guidance. The example of unbelievers is that of cattle. When the shepherd call, calls them, they hear nothing except calls and cries. They are deaf, dumb and blind, so they do not understand anything. O believers, eat of the pure things God has provided for you and thank God if it is Him that you worship. God has forbidden you dead meat, blood, 
the flesh of swine and that on which a name other than God has been taken. However, if one is forced to eat any of the above, without willful disobedience or crossing the limits, he is not a sinner. For God is most forgiving, most merciful. Those who hide God's revelation in the book and sell it for a small price, they fill their bellies with the hellfire. God will not address them on the day of judgment, nor will He purify them. There is a painful punishment for them. Those who buy error in exchange for guidance and punishment for forgiveness, what boldness they show for the hellfire. They will be punished, for God has revealed the book in truth. Those who seek dispute in the book, they go too far in error. It is not virtue that you turn your faces to the east or the west. Virtue is to believe in God, the last day, the angels, the book and the prophets, to give out your belongings out of love for God to close relatives, the orphan, the poor, the traveler, those who ask for help and for freeing slaves, to be regular in prayer and to pay zakah, to fulfill the contracts which you have made. To be patient in suffering, pain and during a battle. They who follow the above are truthful, they are pious. O believers, the law of retribution is prescribed for you in cases of murder. A free person for a free person, a slave for a slave and a female for a female. But if some concession is made by the brother of the murdered person, this should be followed in fairness and compensation should be granted generously. This is a concession and mercy from your Lord, he who crosses the limits. Even after this, there is a painful punishment for them. O oh, people of understanding, there is life for you in the law of retribution. This because you may become pious. It is prescribed for you that when death approaches those of you who leave behind some property, that you should make a reasonable bequest for parents and close relatives. This is obligatory on the pious.